Why no meat, he says. It's very simple. You don't have a right to cause loss, injury, and harm to any other living being. You can explain to me and make it make sense how you have a right to cause loss, injury, and harm to another being, cage that being, enslave that being, and feed on that being, then I will gladly change my sentiment. However, what I will tell you is this. The same way that you cage, enslave, and feed on other living beings, your masters cage, enslave, and feed off of you. You think it's a coincidence? No, because we're generating a karmic loop here. So if you want to stop being treated like an animal and a slave, you better start learning the difference between right and wrong, and you better stop treating other living beings, especially defenseless living beings who don't even know any better, right? You want to go and eat animals? Why don't you go capture a tiger and put it in a headlock? Eat that motherfucker. You want to go take a chicken who's walking around minding its own business, break its neck right in front of its family, take its life, and you want to feed on it after caging it for all of its life, taking its free will. You want to take some pig that has 80% the same DNA as you with all the same type of organs and life within it, and you want to cage it and enslave it and fatten it up and slit its throat while it screams, and you think that's okay. Well, your masters have the same camps getting set up for you. And they already set up a prison planet and a farm for you. And it's been here since day one. So you want to continue to engage in this kind of karmic behavior? Don't be surprised when that slaughterhouse is ready and waiting for you. Because it already is.